this is my Walther P22 and I'm going to swap it from a 5 inch barrel to a 3.4 inch barrel. And put that one in it. So first things first, got to remove the top piece here. A little screw on the top. Loosen these screws on the side. All right. All right, so here's that piece. Keep these screws together. Let's see, nothing in there. So I'm going to drop this down, just a little slide lock, take off the slide, there's the spring and the pen, and we got this part. So the barrel sleeve is held on there by the barrel nut, and this barrel nut in California, where I'm located, is completely round. There's no slots to put a wrench on here as if there would be in other states. And the reason why is because California didn't want people to get access to the threaded barrel. So this nut is very difficult to remove. I actually had to use pliers and a towel and I had to heat it up with a torch gun or a torch. And that's why you kind of see some damage around the barrel nut. So let me get this thing off. So there's the barrel nut, there's the barrel sleeve, and these threads are what is why this barrel nut is rounded so you can't get access to them easily to put a suppressor on it, which is illegal in California, but I mean that's how easy it is to get to the thread, so if you're going to break the law, you're going to break the law. You know, and if you're going to put a suppressor on a gun in California, you probably really don't care too much for the laws of California. But that's one of California's many stupid gun laws. So I'm going to get this barrel out of here. There's the five inch barrel with the barrel sleeve. And now we're going to put in the short barrel. See, this is what we have. It's just the frame. Gonna take this barrel and just slide it through. Goes in like that. And you gotta push it up to get it in all the way. So here's the barrel sleeve. It just goes right around that. And there's a little lock in there. You see I spin it. And then now it hits the lock and it's not spinning. washer right here Let's go over the barrel basically just goes down inside the sleeve and the barrel nut will push that in I'm gonna get a new barrel nut um, they're just out of stock right now so eventually I'll replace this See, normally, in any other normal state, besides California and possibly New York and Colorado and Washington, this would have grooves on it, and I'd be able to take a wrench and just tighten it up with those grooves. All right, so I got that little gap to go away.
and we have the cover on this one. There's the cover. There's the old one, and I got this new one right here, so I think I'm just going to pop this new one in right into the top. It is right on top. All right, so there we go. Converting my five inch barrel to 3.4 inch barrel and the reason why I decided to do that was because this little piece right here it's held in by this tiny little screw and if that screw comes off of its mark then this thing will move around and it's no longer accurate once that starts to happen so you know I just made it 100% solid piece I don't have to worry about that moving I don't have to worry about any of that so Clip is empty, nothing in the gun. Holds well. Looks good. Gonna take it to the shooting range now. Will it not take commercial load? Will it not take commercial load? It does. But I need more. But what happened with that primer? It was very hard. So I got lost because the chest was fired. When I uh, like my uh, my son, my uh, son, -in -law, my, uh, my stepson came here once. That older was shooting the guy at the. So if I were to buy.